Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a not with me video. Now this video was requested by someone on my Google Classroom, which is always going to be linked in the description if you guys want to join. Just make sure to join on your outside of school account. Anyways, back to what I was saying. This was a requested video, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do, just a chill thing to do while just knotting a bracelet and, I guess, answering some questions on the forum to help people out. So this is more like a answering questions sort of bracelet helpline video. Anyways, let's get on with the questions. So I'm going to be answering some questions on Bracelet Books Forum in the newbies section. And the first question I'm getting is about cleaning bracelets. So as you guys may notice, if you have watched Masha Knots and followed her for a while, she has made a video on how to clean your bracelets. The video will be linked in the description as well. Anyways. Her video was explaining how to clean your bracelets if they're dirty, and it's a very simple answer. You basically just have to clean your bracelets by just washing them over, I guess, room temperature water or lukewarm water, and you're going to be just applying the soap on it. It could be washing soap for washing clothes, it could be hand soap, I prefer using hand soap for me since it's more subtle, um, but you can use whatever soap you want as long as it's, you know, mild and doesn't have too many like dangerous chemicals that could possibly hurt your bracelet. And basically some tips I would have on this is to be very careful while you're washing your bracelet. Make sure that you're not gripping it too tight or scrubbing too hard because the fabrics can come apart depending on what type of string you're using. And DMC embroidery floss is very sturdy. It's just frays super easily. So I would definitely be careful if you're using DMC. Next question is, where do I get thread in Europe? So it looks like this person lives in Europe and this question posted this um, topic. So basically, I'm probably going to be doing a video covering this on how to get different types of embroidery floss in all seven continents. So wherever you are, you will know where to get embroidery floss and what type it'll be. Anyways, so this person is asking where to get it in Europe. And Europe is a pretty good country for getting embroidery floss, as I have noticed for people who do live in Europe and get a lot of embroidery floss there. So I do know that Masha Knots also goes to Russia. Um, and she gets a Litze thread. And there's also Anchor, there's DMC, there is all these different beautiful Russian brands that have beautiful colors that you can get there as well. Now, there's a lot of thread that you can find in Europe. You can probably order it online, you can order it on Etsy, because I do know that Etsy does ship all around the world. Um, and you can just basically search online for it and buy it on maybe an online service. Um, or if you have a craft supply shop near you, then you can definitely get a bunch of embroidery floss from there. And last question is, are there any ways to easily find the start and end of a skein of yarn? So basically, I have a lot of Alitze threads and yarns that are multicolored and also sparkly. So basically, it's easiest to find the ends when you find a loose sort of area in your skein. And what I mean by that is that when you first get a skein and it's sort of messy around the edges and you can see a bunch of loose thread sort of just hanging off the sides and in the mix of that and you can sort of find a start to the skein itself i'll insert a short tutorial right now to end the video so for here you're basically just taking your paper label off of your skein of string and you guys can see here i'm using the purple let's say thread you're sort of peeling off the loose threads that are wrapped around the skein just like I did right there, and you're going to just finding the very end of the strings, just pulling it all the way and keeping track of the thread that is coming across. And you'll be able to come and see that you have an end. And after that, just wrap the skein as I'm doing right here, just wrapping around the center of the entire skein of the yarn until you have the completed skein. Whereas you'll be putting a label back on your skein of yarn. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more bracelet content from me in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video.